Hello babes, how are you? If you knew how welcome, my name is Michelle and this is just another celebrity tear that you guys requested. Um, this was recently. You guys wanted to know what happened in between Selena Gomez and Francia, which is the girl who was her health, her friend who gave her the kidney, I believe. Um, so with this said, we're going to move forward. I want to remind you guys that all my readings have no date. They are all dividing, divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to be resonating for all of you. And of course, the energies could be reversed in between people here. And as always, I run no daycare. So just know that this is entirely general. And of course, you guys need to know that these readings are for entertainment purposes only. And this is all allegedly throughout the whole reading. So with this said, let's move forward. I want to thank everybody who has given support to this um, to this series of Celebrity Tarot. Um, if you happen to want to see more, uh, I have a playlist under Celebrity Tarot. You're gonna find all the videos I have made and multiple celebrities and topics <laughs> about celebrities. So with this said, let's see what happened in between them. Let's see what Mother Lilith has to say in the universe about this situation. So, so we have right here the Six of Cups in the reverse. We also have the Two of Wands in the reverse, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, the uh, Knight of Wands in reverse and overall energy. Justice, Libra, energy in the reverse. And at the bottom, we have here, we have temperance. So we have, first of all, we got Scorpio energies as well as Aries energies here. So I do feel that it's telling right here that they had a very nice friendship. But it seems right here that Francia, she was stuck in the past. And she was like having some unrealistic expectations or unrealistic I would say like thoughts about a certain situation. I feel that um, I feel that um, energetically, allegedly saying that she wanted constant grateful. I mean, she wanted constant praise. Let's call it like that. And I feel like Selena did give her praise. She was thankful. She never hide the fact that she needed. Uh, a transplant she never hide the fact that she gave it to her but it seems right here that Francia had unrealistic expectations as well as Selena's fans and the media it seems right here that they didn't have that big of a that big of like issues they didn't have it even though that there was a post that I'm aware of that she thanked some people and she didn't uh, tag her and it seems right here that that's when things started to get a little bit heated because of the media because of the speculations because of some fans trying trying to throw shade at Selena saying like why can't you just thank her if she gave you this so I do feel like uh peer pressure by third parties this is a uh, some fans, some um, haters, let's call it like that, started throwing shade and started like making like assumptions about the situation that caused some tension. I do feel right here that they did have a very nice friendship. Selena has two best friends. It was Francia and Taylor Swift, right? And it seems right here that she was loving towards the both of them and she was caring for the both of them and everything. But it seems right here that people started throwing shade and comparing stuff and trying to make issues where there were non issues and trying to make assumptions where there were not really nothing. Making bigger things than what they really were that caused uh, that caused Francia to be frustrated. And that's where the. Uh, unrealistic expectations of like constant praise constant gratefulness constant tagging her constant reminder showed up in maybe in her energies that's when she started believing that it was unfair allegedly she started believing that it was unfair and that there was like lack of accountability and lack of like I don't know something about from Selena and that's all that she thought because of peer pressure coming from third parties one of the peer pressure being people bringing negativity into social media causing drama and kind of like make her overthink and maybe like question certain things and it did not open her eyes it actually blindfold her because she started getting frustrated and agreeing with people who once did not know her or selena and two did not know exactly how 
things went in between them or was the reason but you know beyond that because at the end of the day we are all expectators in these people's lives and we don't know them personally and i feel like some people on social media think like they really know them as people now i am aware that i'm a tarot reader and i'm reading but that's different because i don't say i know them and that's why i tell people when you throw shade at the reading is your bank account getting bigger or you stay the same place you know what i'm saying so i do feel like some people take a lot energetically saying that some people outside this two girls here took a lot of like i don't know like more than what they belong or more than what they needed and started talking about situations that they didn't have any clue of what they were talking about because they do not know these people you know what i'm saying so with the temperance right here i do feel right here with Sagittarius energy there could have been an argument there could have been a conversation in between allegedly francia and selena and where selena decided to what you know what let's uh moderate the situation let's just give us uh, a break let's not talk about it because she knew that francia was upset and she didn't want to make a bigger deal out of that which it was never her intention. Selena decided to once again, you know, like she's like, you know what? I'm too old for this. People are just commenting stuff without knowing. And Selena noticed that people just wanted her to react. Selena, they wanted Selena to start a public argument. But the thing about Selena is like, she's like every adult. Um, you can talk, you want to talk about the situation with the person you are in problems with you're not going to talk with a mediator and i do feel like there was a conversation backstage that was not public and selena i will say like she was apologetic if she make herself look in or seem a certain way but she did talk to uh, uh francia directly with the nine of cups in the reverse right here again there's also an energy of jealousy and unrealistic scorpio energy talking about <coughs> excuse me the same person who could be a scorpio that even though that francia got this apology behind back store back doors or so it seems right here that there was still a little bit of of upsetting energies in her it seems right here that once again um people were praising according to her energies allegedly right uh, people were praising selena and she wanted a little bit more praise or more uh recognition of what she did and i do feel that that could get her a little bit upset and moody and a little jealous perhaps but i do feel like selena energetically allegedly all, all of it of course uh, had a private conversation with her and had a private com conversation and you know tried to make amends with her but i do feel like energetically according to the cards allegedly francia is still a little upset about a certain situation because she doesn't understand sometimes why people are praising selena for receiving the plant the transplant and not her as much so with this said this is just a tiny little loop in what sometimes friendships could be you know what i'm saying like sometimes friendships go like that you know it doesn't mean that they don't care for each other it's just like happens and a lot of people say a lot of things but whenever people comment about things that sounds unrealistic i know that you guys are kids because it means like you guys have not lived life the way adults have and adult friendships are quite different especially celebrity ones you know imagine being in the eye of the storm all the time you know and people assuming things or saying things Think, getting things out of context and like i said before i'm a tarot reader i see energies if you believe me or not it means very little to me you know what i'm saying like i do my job and move forward the people who love my readings the people who love my readings i do this for them the people who don't like my readings thank you for the view because once you view my video you can unview it people be like oh, you're not nice i'm a witch not the, t the tooth fairy like my goodness my goodness but anyways um we got here um five of cups in reverse the magician in reverse again we got scorpio energy again we got libra gemini aquarius energy i do feel like um i do feel like she um francia should have like i think she felt guilty she felt bad i was looking for the word in english uh i speak spanish by the way that's why but anyways um she was uh feeling 
uh, guilty and unhappy. I feel like she allegedly felt like she overreacted. She didn't cause a lot of problems on social media, but she didn't defend those problems either. You know, like when you, like I said, when you don't clarify something, it's because you're agreeing with it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if your name is involved. You know, it's not like a, I don't know, co like community college kind of thing. It's about when your name is involved and somebody else says, and you don't care to defend the situation, Loki, you are agreeing with it. Now, I do feel like she has moved on. She has uh, allegedly like cooled off and she has realized that perhaps things were taken out of context and perhaps it wasn't that big of a deal. And it seems right here that she could have like wanted to, to ask for forgiveness behind doors with Selena, right? But I do feel that she still had some alleged like um, manipulative energies and trying to like to get Selena to admit what she really did, which she, Francia, or Francia, energetically, allegedly, she's convinced that Selena just didn't want to give her credit or that she, I don't know, like she didn't care. Like unrealistic things and thoughts about Selena, which it's not in her, in Selena's energies. Whatever she thought it was done or wasn't done for. As I said, Selena don't have those negative energies on her. And whatever she thought Selena did it or didn't do whatever, the tagging or mentioning her or whatever, it wasn't because of that. I feel like she just, not that forgot, but it's like she thought that she would have known that she's part of the group. And because they're such close friends, or at least they were very close back then, um, she assumed that Francia would, would actually know that she is part of the group that she's thinking because it's just common sense but it feels like Francia wanted to be tagged or be mentioned as well or again this is not about just fame it's more about friendship I understand that some of you be like oh it's because she's not as famous as Selena not everybody as an adult wants fame half of the people when you are 30 or so you want stability which Francia has she has stability she has her money she has her life move on from that right um, it's not always about fame it's not always about position it's not always about being paparazzi it's about friendship so this is a girl's girlies problem here uh, allegedly it's just in between friends there is jealousy in between friends Francia could have been jealous of Taylor Swift and in their relationship so that's the thing so that's the thing. Francia feels, allegedly, like the cards are saying that Francia feels that Taylor Swift takes all Selena's time. You know what I'm saying? And again, it's talking about friendship. It's not talking about like money or anything. So I thought, of course, as everybody, that this could have been because of the money or so, because, you know, it's just common sense thinking that. But as I go with the cards, it's nothing to do with fame is about like friendship like who's your number one Oi, who's your number one bestie who is your number one friend kind of energy you know what i'm saying and this is what i see that she was just upset that she wanted to be the number one bestie or yeah or something like that but she feels like she's not and um I do feel right here that she is, uh, Francia is on the energy of like, or this could have been already passed already. Uh, she's open to change, of course, energy. She is actually past resentment. She don't want to be angry anymore. She missed Selena or misses Selena if, if it hasn't happened. Again, I do future telling. I don't do the newspaper, so that's why it may be past or future. But at the end of the day, it says right here that there is future planning. And it seems right here that they're going to be seen again in public as you know friends because this was just a feud in between friends it was not a feud in between celebrities or about a job project or something like that it was all in between jealousy of who is my number one best friend or who is your number one best friend Do you know what i'm saying and this happens in between the girls if you say oh it has never happened is because you have never had a best friend then <laughs> i'm sorry that i'll tell you that but that is why there's always one friend that has two best friends and these two best friends are always fighting for their one friend and selena being the middle girl she has two best friends fighting for her in a way 
I do feel that, again, it's talking about friendship. She felt betrayed and defeated. She felt like she cared about, she felt like uh, Selena cared about Taylor Swift more than her. And that was just the little thing. It was just that. It was just a little jealousy and, you know, needed to clarify. Selena had to clarify that, no, you both are my friends. I both care for you. It's just, you know, this and that and that and that, like I said before. With the five of ones right here, like I said before, yes, there is competition for Selena's friendship. Um, she felt like she, there is tension, I feel, energetically and allegedly that Francia and Taylor Swift, they're amicable with each other, but they don't really like each other. They're just nice with each other because not only because of the common sense of like, you know, being celebrities, but also because Selena, you know, but they would and be good good friends like besties if selena were not in the middle okay and you may say but they look like they get along babe this is called being an adult you cannot always be petty with people just because you don't like them even though you have some sort of jealousy that's the reason why not being mean because if this person hasn't done nothing to you why would you be mean to somebody who you don't really know you know what i'm saying and they're just you know working on their projects living their life but there was a little fight for Selena's friendship and so for Selena's number one bestie. That's pretty much what this was all about. And with the three of swords in the reverse right here, there is reconciliation. I feel like they either or had made up or they will be making up. There's going to be re re uh, releasing pain. There's going to be optimistic energies. There's going to be forgiveness. And most likely you may see these three people, these three girls going out eventually in an event or, you know, vacation or doing something together but again it's not like they're going to never reconcile they're going to reconcile if they haven't done it already it also says right here that i feel like people are making a bigger deal than what it was people are making assumptions that are not even close to it and i also in a way empath i feel empathetic towards francia as well because you know she uh I'm not saying that she's not a big artist, but I feel like people assuming and saying so many things about her because, again, you may not know, but just because you don't know doesn't mean it wasn't on the social media. Look it up on TikTok. And so people making assumptions, you know what I'm saying? And, and fan edits and hate, it can make her image as an artist, as a celebrity, a little bit bad. You know what I'm saying? So at this point right here, it wasn't because of the fame. It wasn't because of the money. It wasn't because she wanted clout because she literally don't really needed it. Um, it was, there's a reason why she's friends with Selena. There's a reason why she's there with the celebrities because she's in the same level, you know? Um, otherwise she would have been me, you know, in YouTube and not knowing these people. So at this point she didn't need that. So I do feel like it was just a, a feud in between friends and people were making a bigger deal out of it. And that's that. They're saying right here that release fear, they release unhappiness. I did do see that they actually made up or will be making up. And it says right here that's a beginning, a new beginning again. I feel like this was like, like siblings fighting for being the number one for being the favorite and that's what it was wanting to be the favorite i guess when you are the it girl selena that happens <laughs> so this is pretty much what it was i know some people were praying for other things to show up but i'm sorry people hate selena and want the worst for her i don't know check yourself because wishing negativity on somebody had that is just nice it's just like you're jealous of it because you can't believe that somebody could be pretty nice and talented it's just crazy to me is she a saint no but are you are you a saint are you perfect too no we're all humans so I'm going to give some angel numbers for these people. So we got 458. Trust the changes you are being guided to make as you positive actions today are investment in the future. And then 460. God and the angels are taking care of your earthly needs. Keep your heart and mind centered on spiritual love and let heaven do the rest. So this is the end of the reading. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want more celebrity tarot and other questions, please drop in the comments what you want me to read and I'll consider it. With this said, I showed you my social media. So if you follow me on Instagram, I follow back. I have TikTok, a small group on Facebook, an upcoming project on my Patreon for tarot reading classes, as well as, ouch, I got my second channel. The link is going to be in the description box below. And there I'm going to do vlogs and everything. I also um, take personal readings. So if you want a personal reading, you want to actually go in the description box below and check the link. And you can book your appointment with me. So with this said, thank you so much for the love and support. Remember that these readings are for entertainment purposes only once again. This is all allegedly. I hope you guys liked it. And have an amazing day. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.